Hi YouTube, today I'm going to show you my war machines here. I've still got a few, but they're in the attic. So first we've got a Hoover 216, which started in 1939, but um, were stopped because of the war. Then they started again in 1946 until 1949. The first, the first ones from 1939 had a badge that went all the way around, but I never seen one. They must be like really rare. Um, the later ones were painted in metallic gold, like the uh, Hoover uh, 612. Yeah. The strange thing is, mine has the clear window there, and I've never seen another one like that, so I don't know what's there. Next is my favourite Hoover 825 from 1935 to 38. It has a 360 watt motor and it's two speed, but they were. Um, converted to one speed because this, the two speed switches broke easily as you can see it has a nice art deco style to it next we have the Hoover 375 this is the later one because it has the chunkier wheels and this my one's from 1949 I had painted re recently. I need to get a new bag for it because it's got a massive hole there. My granddad's friend gave that to me. I bought this one for £50 and I got this one for £20 from another collector who was on the. Um, yeah, he was on the news actually. Next we have. My Hoover 800 from 1934 to 1936. It's also known as the Jubilee Cleaner. I need to replace the blades on this one because they're broken. Yeah, that's what the blades look like. This one still has the two speed switch on it. It works alright actually. This is the original plug that came with it. Nice old plug. Still has the really early Hoover bumper there. Yeah, I bought that one for 50 quid as well. This is my Hoover 700 from 1926 to 1929. It was the first Hoover to introduce the famous agitated brush roll. And I bought this one for £10. And it was down the road from me. Well, most of these came down the road from me. I like this cleaner, it runs very well. The badge is in good condition as well. Next, we have the Hoover 725 from 1929 to 1931. It has a 290 watt motor and it's a single speed. This one still has the original cord on it. The badge is a bit worn. This one runs really well. When I first got it, it had a sticker there and it said Marlowe's. I know, it's a shop in London that closed down years ago. I bought that one for 30 quid. Next we have my oldest Hoover in my collection. It's a Hoover 541 from 1923 to 1926. It has a brass sleeve bearing which require regular oiling. It says, uh, drop free oil in this cup there every time you use it. Badge is worn. I need to get a bag for this one because the bag I got it from was all ripped up and came from a later machine. 
Next we have the Hoover 370 from 1935 to 1936. It has a 225-watt motor. First junior cleaner Hoover offered as well. This one has uh, the original bag, I guess. I bought this one for £8 in my local auction. It had been serviced um, the other well, ages ago because these are replacement. You can't buy belts for these anymore, so I just unhook them. This one, unfortunately, has a melted handle grip. This switch works good. It's got one spare belt there, and a Who Junior 119 belt. And there's a bent there as well, so I don't know what that's about. Yeah. This one I got for £20, and um, it was down the road from me. It was in an old farm. So I will test some out of these. That's an old Beaver Super Junior. Next, I'll do my other favourite vacuum cleaner, the Hoover 700. I need to replace the cord because it's got a horrible white cord in it. Thanks for watching.